welcome 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 back to my channel on today i will show you how i make a fabulous fabulous meatball before i do that let me go ahead and say thank you to all of my new subscribers guys you are awesome 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 i really appreciate each and every one of you and for those who have been following me for a while now you guys rock uh, very soon, I'm going to go ahead and choose a few people and give out a thank you gift to all of you that have been faithful over the years. To start our meatball, we have ground beef. And the ground beef I use is organic and it's 80 to 20. Okay. You also will need some potato. This is about two small potatoes that I boil and I mash them. You're gonna need this right here so we can make a simple it piece so we could put inside of our um, ground beef. I have some parsley, we have some um, green onions, bell pepper. I usually use the yellow onions, but I don't have, so I'm gonna use purple onions, which is not gonna make a big difference. I'm gonna add a piece of scotch bonnet because Haitian bullet, you already know, there has to be some type of heat in it, okay? And we're gonna use some fresh lime. And as you can see here, I do have some minced garlic already that I usually freeze ahead of time. So we're gonna use that as well, all right? So, because I wanna show you every step. So in your blender, your processor, whatever you have, you're gonna add these here. And I'm just adding a few. I mean, you do not have to measure it. And I'm not gonna add any seasoning to this. So we're gonna need some type of liquid. So I'm gonna use my limit, my lime, excuse me, because you have to have acid inside of your bullet meatballs all right so now we're gonna just blend all of this together and then i'll come back and show you what i do next all right go ahead this is our blended hippies it's simple that scotch bond it smells amazing in here guys so this we're gonna go ahead I mean some people wash their ground beef I mean I do not see the reason why so I do not wash my ground beef because once it fries it's everything's gonna cook so you're gonna add your it piece like this You can add all of it or some of it. I think that should be enough. I'm not gonna add the whole thing. And yeah, we have more than enough. Since I already have my minced garlic, we're gonna add our minced garlic. And now you want to go ahead and season it. Now I'm gonna add some seasoning salt. And this you can season however you choose. And you want to be careful because you don't want to add too much seasoning. I'm going to also add some adobo. Like that. We're going to add some black pepper like this and I also like to add some I also like to add some fresh thyme so I'm going to go ahead and just take the leaves off of the stem like this because you do not want the stem in your food and I'm not adding too much, just adding two stems. And 
And if you eat Maggie, you can go ahead and add just a little bit of Maggie in there, but I'm not, I'm gonna add some of my chicken base and it's non MSG, a little bit more like this. And I'm gonna add just a little bit of the roasted garlic powder. I love the flavor of garlic. You don't have to add. And that should be good on our seasoning. I mean, you don't have to overdo it. You're gonna mix everything. You know what? I'm gonna switch out my spoon for a fork. I like to mix up with a fork like this before I add my, guys, it smells amazing. Amazing, amazing, amazing. This is gonna be fabulous. Now I'm gonna add, now you can add your mashed potato and you could add your bread. I mean, I have a meatball video up where I add bread. But since this time around, I'm gonna add my mashed potato. There's no need for the bread. And the mashed potato is to help your meatball to be nice and firm. And it also adds a nice flavor to it. All right, so if you're making Haitian meatballs, you have to have your um, potato in there, or you can use um, um, any starch-like vegetable. Okay. All right, everything is nice and mixed. Make sure your hands are clean, because at this point, you're gonna use your hands. I did remove my wedding ring. And also, I checked off camera for flavor because I want to make sure it is tasty. You do not want to fry your meatballs just to find out that it doesn't taste good. So what I did was in this um, pan here, I add some water, took a little piece of um, meat and cooked it on the stove, tasted it. Everything was perfect. The seasoning was right on point and our um, heat level was perfect. So there's no need for me to add any more um, seasoning so now we're going to take our fork you could use a spoon you could use whatever but me i just eyeball and i kind of have a feel okay i hope you can see this you just kind of roll it in your hand like this and kind of squeeze them together and create your ball okay it's nice and firm so right here i have some white flour and it's just plain white flour so we're going to just roll it in the flour Okay, like this, light coat. Okay, like this, making sure. And then you're gonna take off all of the extra flour. Okay, like this. All right, the meatball is nice and round, it's firm. So we're gonna set this aside. I'm gonna go ahead and make the rest of the meatballs and I'll come back and show you what I do next. All right, our meatballs, I'm gonna go ahead and put them into our hot oil. And allow them to fry until golden brown. Or if you have a thermometer, it should read at 165 degrees Fahrenheit. Once they're done, I'll come back and show you what they look like. So if you're not sure if it's cooked or not, you wanna go ahead and use your thermometer. Just stick it in and you wait for your reading. And as soon as it says 165, which it, it looks cooked to me, but you wanna make sure. All right. And once I get at 160, I'm good. All right, 
our meatballs are cooked. You want to go ahead, turn your stove off. Here is our fabulous, fabulous, fabulous meatballs. Our meatballs are extremely tasty. They are delicious, guys. I'm going to go ahead and serve you with some rice and beans. And I did make some sauce. Until next time, please like, comment. Do not forget to subscribe. Delicious.